Hello stamping friends, this is the second video in the online Skype class with Sharon Armstrong. The three cards that we're doing in November is this one, this one, and this one. This is like a bonus one. Wait till you see when we do this card. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this card very fast and easy. We're using the White Christmas stamp set from the Holiday Catalog with Stampin' Up. In your kit, the pieces that you got was the crumb cake base, a crumb, crumb, crumb cake, hmm, hard to say that, a piece that looks like this, and then just a little piece that looks like this. I also did the wild wasabi cardstock, and I ran it through the wood grain embossing folder. So that's already been done for you. To stamp, I am using the paper piercing mat. I do um, like using that. I'm going to use the trees and I'm going to ink up my stamp. This stamp is looking very well loved as yours will too because the ink does stain it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp straight down, give it a good press then your paper will stick because the photopolymer stamps are sticky. Then I'm gonna take the little car from the stamp set, little SUV looking car, and I'm going to stamp it. Now, the fact that these are clear, it's much easier to get it close to the road. Otherwise, it looks like it's, um, Four-wheeling. Yeah, the first card I did was four-wheeling, so watch that. Just make sure you get close to the road. So this is not a snow scene this time. Um, our previous card was a snow scene. This is going to be more like driving through the woods. So now I'm going to ink up my tree, and the tree is really cute because one side is flat. So that goes right on top of the car. Look how fun. All right. So now let's do some coloring. You all know that Stampin' Up! sells markers. Well, what if you don't have the markers that you want for um, this scene? So I'm going to use Real Red Reinker, just one drop. You don't need much. We don't have much to color. And then I'm also using Wild Wasabi Reinker, one drop. Don't have much to color. We're just going to color that tree. And I'm going to use an Aqua Painter. Now, the Aqua Painter. In the previous video, I showed you how to um, how to squeeze the bulb and get the water out. Now I'm going to show you how to take some of the water off. You can take a paper towel, you can take a rag like I'm doing, and I'm just drying off that brush, okay? And I'm not going to squeeze the bulb. It's going to be a little damp, but that's fine. I just don't want a whole lot of water. So now I'm going to take just a little bit. It's almost like a painter's palette. I'm going to take just a little bit and I'm going to color my tree. So there you have it. If you don't have a marker that matches your cardstock or what you're wanting, then there you go. If you have those reinkers, which, you know, sometimes you think, oh, why do I need a reinker? The Stampin' Up! pads do last a long time. And um, then I'm just going to wash that tip off, by the way, as I'm talking. And I want to make sure it's clean, so I'm going to take it back to my white rag and make sure because I don't want it to bleed with the red. And I realized that I got a bubble in my red, so I'm going to add a little bit more. When I got close to it, I saw that bubble. Um, the Stampin' Up! pads do last a long time, but you will eventually need to re-ink them. Since I moved to a drier climate, I am finding that um, I have to re-ink my pads more often to get a good image, okay? So see how I'm just coloring the little car, little cor little short snips there for coloring, and then little lines in between um, the top of the car. There you go. Okay, so now you know how to color something if you don't have the markers. Another fun thing that I stuck in the, kate, in the kit this month was a crumb cake marker. 
And I want you to use the crumb cake marker to color the wheels. Okay, and the tree trunk. And then these tree trunks just come in. It's gonna be a soft color, but it needed something. Okay, so I'm done. I'm not gonna color the branches or anything else like that. All right, so I'm done with my coloring. How easy is that? Now, you've got the little piece. Where's my little tiny piece? There it is. This little piece that's in your kit. I'm going to use Thinking of You at Christmas, and I'm gonna ink that up. Now, because this is a really skinny little stamp, I decided it was too stressful for both of us for me to send you a tiny, tiny strip of paper that big. So you're going to use your snips and you're gonna cut it down. Okay, so you're just gonna come in and draw, I mean, draw, cut as straight a line as you can. You know, straight causes stress. So if it's not perfect, this is a handmade card. Don't stress out. So see how much easier it is for me to trim it down to that size versus trying to cut a piece that size and for you to try to stamp a piece that size. All right, so I'm gonna do a little banner tail like that, snipping from the corners. Oops, okay. And then this end. So we're gonna make a little banner for our card. Okay, now let's put our card together. So we have our um, wasabi cardstock, and I highly recommend that you use the Tombow liquid glue when you are um, attaching adhesive to this textured paper. You want it to get down in the grooves. I know that looks like a lot, but it's not really, so that your card doesn't fall apart. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how I hate when my card falls apart. All right, press that down. Now, because I'm attaching um, a, a piece of cardstock to textured, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. You know what, I love, love to make boo-boos when I'm making a video. It's just so fun. So let me show you the video, the boo I did. I forgot to add the ribbon. <laughs> so, I don't know if I can do this, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see if we can lift off, and it's gonna be messy. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, I'm just gonna lift that up like that. See what a mess I made? Okay, but I need to get that ribbon underneath this green layer. You got a piece of ribbon in your kit, but that's not possible for me to send you the whole roll like I'm doing. I like to keep mine on the roll. So, I'll go ahead and just stick that down there. See, I'm the queen of boo-boos. If you think that you're the only one that can make a mistake and that your cards aren't perfect, you should watch me. <laughs> you should just watch me. I even had somebody comment that they love my videos because I do make mistakes. I've been doing this for 17 years. Nobody's perfect, so don't, don't feel bad. Let's just slide that out. Perfect. Boy, this is really working out well because I cut my ribbon too small, too short. Okay, so we're going to just tie a knot in this. Be helpful if one of y'all was here helping me. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so we're just gonna slide that down a little bit. Trim off that little bit of a tail. Okay, so I'm done. Boy, that turned out really well. See how you can fix mistakes? There's no such thing as a mistake. It's just a chance to be creative. All right, let's put our little banner on. And for the banner, we're gonna use some dimensionals. And when you have a sheet of dimensionals from Stampin' Up, there's always this fun border. So we don't wanna waste it. We just wanna use those little pieces on the back of skinny little things like this. OK, 
Okay, let's attach it to our card and we will be done. Maybe I should advertise the Queen of Boo Boo's videos. There you go. All right, we're done. It turned out good, even though I made a mistake. So come back for the third video in the Skype Club.